Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Brandon Baez from ChitaChagit.com here with a Photoshop Intermediate tutorial. So let's go ahead and get right into this tutorial. This is the effect that we're going to be going for today. It's something that Ela and I came up with earlier today and we think it's actually uh, pretty cool and we like to call it the inscribed tribal art design, yeah, something along those lines. And so, yeah, let's uh, just go ahead and get right into this tutorial and teach you guys how to make this tribal art shindig. So, let's go ahead and start up a new document. And I'm going to go with my usual 1280 by 720 with a 72 resolution. And we'll just hit OK and get this started. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and make sure our background color is set to this pale green kind of color right here and the number is D5E3D4 so make sure you get this light green color as your background color and with that light green as your background color go ahead and hit control backspace or command delete I believe it is on a Mac computer and so we're just gonna go ahead and call this BG for background and then on top of that we're gonna throw a paper texture so I'm just gonna grab this paper texture that I have from the Riot Gear DVD from videocopilot.net I'm just gonna click and drag this up to the tab and bring it on back down and I'm gonna center it by selecting the canvas with control A or command A and if you have your move tool selected just align vertically and align horizontally and that will just center your texture for you and I'm going to deselect it with control D or command D. And I'm going to zoom out with my scroll wheel and transform this paper texture with control T or command T. And I'm going to click and drag to turn it while holding shift and make it nice and level. And check mark it and hit control zero to zoom back in so that it fits the canvas right there. And all we're going to do to this for now is just go ahead and set this name to eh, paper and then we're going to change the blend mode to multiply and that will just give this a nice green paper sort of texture thing so next up we're going to go ahead and create a new layer and we're going to name it vin for vignette because we're going to go ahead and add that nice little vignette to this right now so with the vignette layer selected go ahead and hit shift backspace or shift delete and just use a 50 percent gray or you can use black or white 50 percent gray it actually isn't going to matter because we're going to apply a color overlay to this so once you've got your color just go ahead and hit OK and in order to make this vignette we're gonna need some rulers so go ahead and hit control R or command R depending on whether or not you're on a Mac and click and drag from your ruler until the ruler snaps to the middle and same thing with this ruler just so it snaps to the center right about there and we're gonna head over here to the elliptical marque tool and we're going to set the feather to about 100 pixels and we're going to go ahead and click and drag from the center while holding the alt key or if you're on a Mac you would hold option so that you kind of zoom in from the center here and just make it so that the right edge or sorry the left and right edges and the top and bottom edges all kind of match up nicely and just let go and that'll give you a nice little feathered circle right there and then making sure again you've got the vignette layer selected go ahead and add a layer mask but this is uh, this mask is kinda going the wrong way so we're gonna go ahead and invert it with control I or command I if you're on a Mac and then I'm just gonna go ahead and hide these rulers by hitting control or command H and then I'm gonna hide my rulers by hitting control or command R and that way we've got a, a good thing going here. We've got a soft vignette with our green paper texture background. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to my tribal PSD right here. And I'm going to grab the layer style. And I'm going to paste it over here because I don't really have it memorized. But for you guys, um, this is what is being applied to this layer. It's going to have an opacity of 75%, a fill of 0%, and the only effect uh, actually applied to it is the color overlay and the color overlay is set to an 85 percent opacity with a blend mode of color burn and the color itself is this dark grayish blackish green color with a number that you can type in of 2D352F so just go ahead and 
put all of those settings onto there and you should get this nice little vignette with the occasional green grunge texture sort of dealio going on there. So now that we've got our vignette and our background set up, we can actually get to making the actual tribal art itself. So go to the paper layer and create a new layer. And we're just gonna rename this T for tribal. And we're gonna put that into a group by hitting Control or Command G. And I'm just gonna name this tribal one. And go back to your T layer right there. And with your elliptical marquee tool still you know, selected, go ahead and change the feather back to zero pixels. And then just click and drag and make any shaped uh, circle that you want or oval, whichever makes you happy. So this is a, a pretty decent size oval. So um, with this selection, it does again, it doesn't really matter what shape it is. Just go ahead and fill it in with black with Alt Backspace, assuming that you've got black as your foreground color down here. And before you deselect it, go ahead and click and drag the selection just down to the right a little bit, or you know whatever you want. Kind of up to you. Depends on your personal preference because everything outside of this marque tool is gonna be the crescent that's gonna be left over so I like where this is right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the backspace key and I'll just delete all of that and I'll deselect it by hitting control D or command D and I've got this nice little crescent shape going on right here but I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit more interesting I'm gonna go to my move tool and I'm gonna duplicate this layer by hitting control J or command J I'm going to bring up my transform tool by hitting control T or command T. And I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag outside while holding shift until it's flipped all the way around like so. And then I'm going to hit this little link right here and change the width to 50%. And since I had the link on, it changed the height to 50% as well. And I'm going to drag this over here, give it a little bit of a turn, and just kind of make these ends meet up a little bit like that. I think that looks pretty interesting. So with the T copy layer selected, we're gonna hit Control E or Command E, and I'll just merge it down so that these two shapes are all on one layer. And I'm gonna go ahead and center this by hitting Control A to select the canvas, and I'm gonna hit these two icons right here to center it up for me. And I'm gonna deselect with Control D or Command D. And what we're gonna do here is completely up to you in terms of uh, well, you'll see what I mean in just a second. Go ahead and duplicate this layer by hitting Control J or Command J. Bring up the Transform tool by hitting Control T or Command T. And click and drag on the outside while holding Shift. And as you can see up here, as you turn this, you can see the degrees change. And so I've got a negative 45 degree turn going on on this copy. So I'm going to keep that in mind and hit the check mark right here and I'm going to duplicate this copy by hitting control J and I'm going to bring up the transform tool and click and drag to turn it and I'm going to go another negative 45 degrees and I'm just going to repeat that duplicate transform turn 45 degrees check mark it and just keep doing this until you hold on so just keep doing this and at some point you'll notice that when you turn that 45 degrees or whatever degree you turn to it'll actually match up with where you started and when that happens just kind of close out of the transform and delete that copy because you don't really need it so you've got all of these different rotations of your little shape that you made and that's actually what we wanted to accomplish it's just a little bit too big so with the tribal one group selected I just kind of click that arrow to hide all those layers which is why I bothered to even put this in a group go ahead and hit control T with that group selected and I'm gonna zoom out with my scroll wheel and click and drag from this corner while holding alt and shift or option and shift for you Mac users out there and just make sure it kind of fits on your canvas there. I'm going to hit control zero to zoom back in. And I'm going to go ahead and check mark it and center it like we did before by selecting the canvas and hitting those little icons right there. 
And we're already off to a pretty good start. This thing's looking rather interesting as it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and go through this process again, just a little bit differently, to go ahead and add a, another tribal flare to it. So I'm gonna get my layers together, gonna get my elliptical marquee tool, draw an ellipse, kinda position it a little bit in the center, fill it in with black with alt backspace or option delete. I'm going to move this selection this way sometime, uh, a little bit. And then I'm going to delete it by hitting backspace and hitting control D to deselect. Now we've got this kind of fat looking crescent going the other way. And I'm going to go to my move tool and center this crescent shape. And what I'm going to do with this crescent shape is duplicate it and turn it this way 60 degrees. So that way we get a slightly different shape than we did before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate, turn it 60 degrees, and just repeat that a couple of times. And that should be good right there. So we'll go ahead and close that up, transform it a little bit so we can get it to fit a little bit more nicely. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the first tribal group that I had. And this doesn't look centered, so I'm gonna go ahead and center the tribal two group real fast. And then I'm going to transform the Tribal 2 group and size it down so that it fits somewhere in here kind of interestingly. I'm thinking right there will work all right. Okay, so this combination of two different tribals gives us a rather interesting effect. Personally, I like how it turned out a little bit better in my first example, but this will work for the, t for the tutorial. So with these two groups selected, just select your first group and shift click to the second group. We're gonna right click and go to duplicate layers and just hit okay. And that will duplicate both groups for you and keep them both selected. And after that, you're gonna right click and go to merge layers. So that way, all of the layers in the first and second tribal groups are merged into one single layer. And we're just gonna name that back to tribal. I'm gonna turn off these two actually seeing as I'm not gonna be using these I'm just gonna trash them you can keep them if you want if you wanna go back and do anything but that is completely up to you so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is duplicate this paper right here by hitting control J or command J and I'm gonna set the blend mode back to normal and then I'm gonna go to my tribal layer right here and with my hand icon over the thumbnail, I'm going to hold control or command if you're on a Mac and give that a click. And that will make a little selection of your tribal design right there. And go to your copy of your paper texture and add a layer mask by clicking this icon down here. And after you have that taken care of, we're going to go ahead and add some effects to the tribal layer right here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those from over here. Copy layer style. Go back over here right click and paste okay so what I ended up doing with the tribal layer itself is keeping the opacity at 100 percent changing the fill down to zero percent and then I have two effects on it an inner shadow and a color overlay the inner shadow is at the default blend mode color opacity and all that stuff but the distance is set to four pixels the choke is set to 30 percent and the size is set to three pixels and the color overlay has a blend mode set to linear burn the opacity is set to 80 percent and the color I used is this medium grayish green with the number of 6F 7A 6D so you can go ahead and put that in yourself and we'll hit OK hit OK and just for kicks I'm gonna group these together call them tribal so that's the basic walkthrough for that tutorial right there. Hopefully you guys were able to follow along. Feel free to tinker it with yourself, get something that you like, and I will see you guys next time.